Welcome back. In our previous lesson, we have discussed about roster questions. And we said roster questions are a group of questions and subsections that are repeated to collect similar information. In this lesson, we are going to talk about ranking questions. Ranking questions allow the respondent to compare items directly against each other and arrange them in the order of significance or preferences. So first of all, let's just add the question. The question which we are going to use for this is this one. This question says, rank the following factors that affect your academic performance from most significant to the least significant. So we have these factors. So I'm just going to copy this question and add it here. Then here, you have to choose this option which says ranking. You can see that you have two columns. The first column is like the position, whereas the second column is for the options that have to be ranked. So, first of all, let's add here. Because we are saying that most significant to least significant, on first choice, I'm going to say most significant. And on this one, I can just leave automatic. And here, second choice is going to be second most significant. Then the next is going to be third most significant. So I can continue filling this. And let me just check how many options do we have. We have five options. So here, we also need to have five levels. So the last one is least significant. Now, we need to add the options here. So these options can be assigned codes for data analysis. So we have this stress, diabetes habits, sleep quality, type management, and physical fitness. Let's start adding them. So here I'm going to put stress. And I'm going to put one. Then we have uh, sleep quality. And here I'm going to put two. So you can continue adding these options. So we're done adding all the options. Once you have done that, you can simply collapse the answers. And you can choose to make the question mandatory. Now, let's preview how does the ranking works. So, this is how the question appears. And it says, rank the following factors that affect your academic performance from most significant to the least significant. And a single option cannot be ranked more than once. So, for example, here, most significant, I say is a Time management, second most significant, I say is dietary habits. Then here I can put sleep quality. Here I can put stress. And the last one, I can put physical fitness. This means that according to me, time management is the most significant factor that affect my performance. So if you choose to rank it, a single answer or a single option more than once, it says items cannot be selected more than once. So that's how liking questions works in Cobo Toolbox.